That get dusty in the box.
<laughs> Is anybody here? Would you rather suck one dick for fifty thousand dollars, or get a thousand dollars for every dick you suck? <laughs> Who would be the world's most dominant one-on-one -on -one basketball player if everyone was forced to play naked? Would you rather live in a world with only girls, or in or a world with only guys, but you couldn't jerk off? <laughs> Would you rather have your dick as your nose or your nose as your dick? <laughs> Would you rather have sex with your dream girl once or nudes from every girl you know? Marry, fuck, or kill? Nut tap, dead leg, getting the wind knocked out of you. <laughs> Would you rather only eat shitty airplane food for the rest of your life or have every meal be amazing but you can only drink O'Doul's? <laughs> Would you rather everyone in your girlfriend's office want to fuck her or nobody want to fuck her? Everybody. Would you rather spend the rest of your life blind or inside an olive garden? <laughs> Would you rather date a cool girl who's 25 pounds overweight or a hot girl who's a religious nut? A uh, cool girl. I can handle the extra 25 pounds. This is going to be a fun game. <laughs> I can't tell if anybody's here or not. I'm not getting I'm not getting any texts or anything. What's up with this goddamn phone, man? Conjured funk. You're not here? How you doing, man? Well, I figured nobody was. That's okay. I'm used to being alone. Thanks for saying something, brother. How you doing? Merry Christmas Eve, man. Carl Spikler sent me this game. Answer the internet. It's got a bunch of cards. Thousands of them. And there's three different games. You can poll the internet. Like, if your arms were spaghetti, would you want them to be cooked or uncooked? <laughs> and it has a uh, poll the internet at the bottom. Like, 56% of barstool readers chose cooked. You're really doing good for dealing with family. My right, right, right. It's got pull the internet and it's got debate the internet. What's the worst possible way for someone to catch you jerking off? <laughs> and you got to come up with your own answer. Or there's, <clears throat> excuse me, answer the internet. Would you rather, what would you rather have be random? Your weekly paycheck ranging from zero to double? Or eat what, or what you eat for dinner every night. What I eat. That's gonna be a fun game to play, man. That's gonna be a fun game to play. I have to figure out how we can play it online here. That'd be fun. Yeah, it is a cool gift. He gave me a bunch of, a bunch of sent me a bunch of stuff that I didn't think I could get.
here in Knoxville. He sent me a bunch of flour and cornbread mix from a place I used to live, Taze Valley. And uh, I used to live there in West Virginia a long time ago. And uh, he sent me a bunch of it. So I'm going to make some fucking cornbread and, or some biscuits here in a little bit. I got some milk, so I'm going to make some biscuits. But yeah, that is a cool gift. It really is. The only thing is, the only friends I have are y'all. <laughs> so we'll have to figure out how to play it online here. Or maybe we can play it on Discord or something. Heptoons, what's up, Heptoons? Thanks for the bits, man. God damn, you come right in with a donation. Wow, thanks, brother. God damn, man. The real. You remember last Christmas here, right? Right? Yeah, I streamed sitting right where I'm sitting, man. Hey, man, it's Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie, how you doing, brother? It's good to see you, man. I remember you were in here the other night. With your new name. Yeah, Daryl, I remember that. It's going to be like that tomorrow, too. I'll be sitting right here streaming, probably. No reason for me not to. What's a bummer is that you remember that. <laughs> that makes me sad. <laughs> I'm used to being pitiful. I hate that there's anybody else like that. <laughs> How's your day? Well, it's been fine, dude. It's been fine. I went to work for a couple of hours. The only reason I really went to work is because the next the guy that lives next door told me he's going to buy a pizza. He's an old man. And I've given that guy a thousand dollars worth of wood to rebuild a, the floor of a barn he's got that's got holes in it. And he wanted to do something nice for us, for me anyway, because I'm the one that pretty much gave him all of the shit. I asked permission first, but all the shit that we're not using, I gave to him. 20 pieces of OSB, 2 by 4s all kinds of shit. And so when I got there today about 1130, he had just got back from the store. He went and bought a goddamn Little Caesars pizza. And uh, I sat with and he bought a Coca-Cola at Mountain Dew. And I said, hey, thanks for that, man, but I don't really drink those. He said, what do you drink? I said, water. He said, well, you can bypass water today and drink one of those. <laughs> so I drank part of a Coca-Cola. <laughs> I didn't want it. It made my stomach hurt. But I drank part of it because <laughs> he got my ass about it. You can bypass water today and drink one of those. <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> you went and bought it just for me. I drank the fucking thing. <laughs> but yeah, I've had an all right day. I'm getting a new phone. That's kind of cool. For some reason, my phone, I had my phone number changed last week, and I'm not getting SMSs anymore, text. Wow, I'm glad I was here with you. And again this time, Merry Christmas and Christmas Eve. We're right on, Daryl. Well, I appreciate you spending yours with me, man. I really do. I really do, man. But I'm not getting text messages, and I've done everything I can all the way up to and including a factory reset this morning, and it still hasn't fixed it. So they're sending me a new phone, which that's kind of cool. <laughs> I'm excited about getting a brand new phone. <laughs> it's going to be the same thing, but that's fine. Yeah, that's cool to real.
I got my air conditioner on. It's in the 60s here today, man. It's unbelievably, unseasonably warm. Crazy. Do I have Christmas off tomorrow? I can take it off. I'm not going to. I'm going to go to work for a little while. There's no reason for me not to go to work. Well, this phone's all fucked up now. God damn it, man. I wish that phone worked a little bit better just so I could have something to play music with. Everybody I see, everybody I'm around, my neighbors, and everybody's all getting together with their family and opening presents. And everybody's laughing and happy. It's going to be really warm and sunny on Christmas tomorrow. Yeah, it will be here for sure. Dreaming, hey dreaming, this phone just, this phone is not very good, it's getting worse and worse and worse and it's skipping. Sometimes it's not that bad, sometimes it's real bad. Thing has been so cool where I live and hasn't been snowing at all. Yeah, it does that here too, man. It gets really cold but it doesn't snow, no precipitation. On your finger, the spot where you might live. Yeah, maybe, maybe here in the next month or two, I'll be able to afford a streaming camera. And I can just use it. And then I can play tunes with my phone. And they won't skip or nothing. Hugs, hey brother. Do I have a camera in mind? No, no, I haven't even started looking at them. I don't even know what they, what they, I have no idea what to look for, man. I, I couldn't afford one. I can't afford one, so I just haven't even bothered looking at them. Find it, fix it. Merry Christmas, bro. I'm imagining they'll be pretty expensive, several hundred bucks. Loading. I'm going to light my smelly wax. Hang on a minute.
Yeah, dreaming. I haven't even looked at them, dude. I don't know what choices I would have. I've just been using my phones for so long that I don't even know what what other choices they have. Maybe I could find a. Uh, Station ready for connection. Now it just the speaker just the speaker just kicked my phone off of it. Now I just fucking hooked itself back up. What a piece of shit. Everything I got's a piece of shit. Ankle Spanker. Hey, man. How you doing? Oh, I'm over that shit. Maybe I'll just sing. <laughs> Wave it, Shelby. What's going on today? Nothing, man. This. Just the thought of being a holiday messed me up. Yeah, I know what you mean, hugs. I know what you mean, buddy. <clears throat> I'm not a I'm not a great big fan of holidays. Not a fan. I can live the holidays, just hate driving, fucking all the way across Michigan. Maybe we'll take a walk through the woods. I'll put my vest on and we'll go take a walk up through the woods, maybe. I don't know. Watch a Christmas story over and over, right? Yeah, I haven't seen any Christmas programs this year. I don't get the channels that play them. I was at my son-in-law's house the other day with my grandkids there for a few minutes, and they had one of them on TV, Frosty or something was playing. Hey, check this out. Some of y'all saw this a few minutes ago. Carl Spikler sent me that flower and shit the other day. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make some biscuits. I'm hungry anyway. But he sent me this game. Answer the internet. And there are three different games in this box. There is...
Answer the internet. Cards pit the players against one another to win the judges' favor. Poll the internet. Cards test how well the players know the depraved minds of barstool readers. And debate the internet. Cards are all out battle royales between players. What you do is players take turns acting as the judge and challenging the rest of the players with selected, selected questions from the cards. It says, um, Answer the Internet is open to different types of play, house rules, and variations. If you don't like our rules, make up some of your own. Hell, turn it into a drinking game for all we care. But there's different kinds, man. There's different things. Hope Shock is in here. Hey, Vipla. How you doing, Vipla? It's good to see you. Hope Shock is in here. I don't know if Shock's in here. Oh, for making biscuits, right? You love my shirt? I got this in Myrtle Beach years ago. This is the shirt I got before I went to jail. But there's, uh, there's some really good cards in here. A lot of them are about sex. Imagine that. But, um... Would you rather give up sex or the TV remote for the rest of your life? What is your stance on washing your hands after taking a piss? You all know what my stance is. There's thousands of cards in here. Would you rather go 50 years in the future or 50 years in the past? Would you rather fuck a chick who's banged a thousand dudes or a chick who's banged an animal? <laughs> Would you, would you have no sex with a girl with no arms? Would you have sex with a girl with no arms? Would you rather be bald by age 20 or 5 foot 3 with a full head of hair? Can you still go to your barber if he is very racist? <laughs> hey, shock! I'm here. Where's my goddamn biscuit? <laughs> Bring it around. Hey, bring it around. Wait, you went to jail? I know about that. I've been to jail a couple times, man. Is that a drink? You can make it a drinking game, Dreaming. It can be a drinking drinking game, man. But there, that's the that was the those are the poll the internet cards. There's other cards like debate the internet. Are there any universally loved movies that you hate? Universally loved movies that you hate. If your girl had to wear a mascot head during sex for the rest of your life, which one would you choose? <laughs> if you had to choose one meat to eat for the rest of your life, what would you pick? How much money would you take to verbally belittle a midget in front of a crowd of 100 people? <laughs> and then there's the other ones. I have to take such a big down. Oh, fucking toy is frozen. What? Bring it around. Your toilet is frozen. Here's the answer to the internet. Here's some of those questions. Who would be the world's most dominant one-on-one -on -one basketball player if everyone was forced to play naked? I actually pulled that one out of the stack earlier. Out of all these cards, I pulled the same one out twice. Would you rather have a perfect bracket but not make any money or get a hundred grand? Let me pick some different cards. I saw those same ones last time I did this. Would you rather be only able to jerk off to naked girls you know or fully clothed porn, porn stars? Marry, fuck, or kill. A Jehovah's Witness, a clown, a street performer dressed like the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Would you rather go into a coma and not wake up until you're 75 or die tomorrow? Wow, that's a heavy question. Would you rather be falsely accused of murder or never be able to stop coming? <laughs> no, I've never played Card Against Humanity, Sue Pop-Tarts. Ronnie, I've never played that, man. Knifey Spoony! Merry Christmas, man. Willa Mooney, hey, buddy. All right, 
Let's make some goddamn biscuits. Let me get my cigarettes and shit off of here. Let me try to play some more music, man. I don't... It sucks not being able to listen to music. I'd like to have my fucking... I used to have a nice stereo CD player radio that, was, that had all my surround sound speakers together, but I don't have it anymore. Because I'm a fucking loser. Pick our delicious 100% natural ingredients and make it's a hilarious game. I bet, man. I bet. Damn, I feel good. Eels. London Knights. Hey, London Knights. Phil, what's up, Phil? Hey, thanks, man. Yeah, everybody likes my shirt. There's cooking for every resolution. Oh damn, my big bowl has got fucking spaghetti. Ben Crust Cheese, hey man. Neptune, what's up? Christmas party was pretty good, man. I drank a big cup of hot chocolate full of peppermint schnapps and all my beers, and it was all right, man. Yeah, I came home and tried to stream, but I was drunk. <laughs> Boy, I'm a doctor. I miss you so much. Oh, stop it. Bring it around. He bring the sisters back with him. No, no. Summer 69. Hey, man. I 
gotta know tonight If you're alone tonight I gotta preheat my oven. Let me light my oven up.
pretend I don't have any fucking flour. Ah, this will work. I'm making biscuits, man. Yeah, th yeah, th three guy. We're not asking questions here, buddy. I appreciate you trying to be part of the community, but that's not what we're doing here, man. Same thing here. Right, knifey spoony. And I don't think I've got any mods in here. Do I have any mods in here? Hey shock, ban that little little blunt guy and that his buddy the three three guy, please. I forgot you. I forgot I saw you in here a second ago. Thank you. Thank you, Shock. Ban those jackasses, please. I asked them politely to not do that, and they both are doing it. Fuck them. Thank you, Shock. Hey, I tell you what, man. Hey, Shock, this will this will be funny for you to hear. You next time you're here, I need to introduce you to a friend of mine. I haven't seen him in a while, but there was I used to have a buddy. I guess we're still buddies. I just haven't seen him in a while. Uh, Mike Eccles. His son got hemmed up for a couple years, and so he was taking the visitation. For the guy's kid, for his grandkids, for his son, when his son, what did they do? They kept doing stupid shit I asked them not to do, Ronnie. But my friend made the best, made the best goddamn biscuits, man, and he would make a, a dam. He would put the flour in a circle with a with a hole in it and pour the milk in it and just mix it with his hands on the countertop. He made the best fucking homemade biscuits, man. He didn't use a measuring cup for the flour or the milk or anything, man. He made the best fucking biscuits.
goddamn uh, paper mill. <laughs> Wish we could still spank our kids out going to jail. Sometimes that's the only thing that works. You know what, Dreaming? You're exactly right. There's nothing wrong with corporal punishment. I'm not talking about punching them in the fucking head. But spanking a kid's ass, there's nothing wrong with that, man. My wife's making me busy gravy for breakfast in the morning. All right, Shock. I'm sure they'll be a lot better than what, what I make. Why you got somebody you love making them? That's awesome, Shock. Right on. You sent, you've posted pictures of her stuff before. It always looks really good. Measuring cups are a waste of money. <laughs> I need milk if I want to do that, Shock. <laughs> I use measuring cups for a lot of things. Sometimes I don't, but most things I do. My mom actually has a rolling pin con collection. She's got uh, these rolling pin holding things uh, on the wall. And she's got five or six different kinds of rolling pins on it. It's pretty cool. You love my apron? My mom made me this. My mother used to sew a lot and make all kinds of things like this. But she got essential trimmers. She shakes all the time, so she doesn't really sew much anymore. But she sewed this for me here a year ago or so. And I wear it all the time when I can remember to wear it. I like it too, man. I'm glad you, I'm glad you like it, dude. That's pretty cool. Thank you for saying something about it, man. So this is Christmas. You can suck my fucking dick. When do you plan on ending the stream? I have no idea, Ronnie. I don't plan when I end the stream. Why? <laughs> That's kind of an odd question, dude. I don't know when I'm going to end it, man.
I'm gonna go watch his stream. Oh, it ain't. I'm not gonna end it soon, dude. It ain't gonna be soon. It'll be in three, four, five, eight, ten hours. I I don't know, buddy. I I don't ever plan. I'm gonna end a stream at a certain time. Usually I don't. If I have somewhere to go or somewhere to be, then I'll stop it at a certain time. But I've got nothing going on right now, man. I'm just hanging out with my friends. So, I will be here for a while. I hope these biscuits turn out good. If they don't, it's going to be my fault. And that's going to be a fucking bummer. Fucking bummer, fucking bummer, fucking bummer, fucking bummer. Wash some fucking dishes. Don't you fuck up my biscuits. I know, right, Shock? <laughs> and and you and you know what? That means a lot to me. <laughs> Don't you fuck up my biscuits. I swear to God, brother. I'm, I swear I'm trying not to fuck them up. If for nothing else to prove to you, I can make them. <laughs> oh, God damn it, shock. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you enjoy the streams, Ronnie. Whoa, wait a minute. Ah, oh, Chappy. Hey, Fitz. God damn, dude. Thank you so much. I just noticed that. Thank you so much, Fitz. And I recognize the name. Thank you, Fitz. Fitz donated $100. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much. God damn. Thank you, dude. Thank you, man. Thank you, Fitz. I'll make you some fucking biscuits too, Fitzy. <laughs> I looked at my music phone, the phone I was going to play some music on, and saw I had a PayPal notification. I'm like, what the fuck? And I looked, it said 28 minutes. I'm like, what? Dude, thank you so much, Fitz. God damn, dude. Thank you so much. He is a generous guy, Knifey Spoonie. Fitz is, Fitz is a good guy, man. I've got some of the best humans in the world in this community in my fucking chat room right here. I swear I do. I attract some goddamn nut lickers too. And a lot of trolls. But I really attract some of the best people in the fucking world. Thank you, Fitz. Damn, Fitz making it rain. I know he is, right? <laughs> thank you, Fitz. Sincerely, thank you. I got my wrong foot the other week, but I didn't love it here. Hey, Knifey Spoonie, 
I don't remember you and me being on the wrong foot. I believe it though, and it may not have had anything to do with you. I get moody sometimes. It's a character fault. Uh, I'm not the most mentally stable person in the world, so I apologize, but I've got no problems with you, Knifey Spoonie. I like you. I like your fucking company here. You are welcome to be here, brother. Or sister. I'm not trying to assume your gender. But you're welcome here, man. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Fitz Jr. is a good dude. Yes, he is a good dude. Well, I think you're great and you make the day. But, well, thank you, Knifey Spoonie. Thank you. A lot of people get off the wrong foot here and end up loving it right. Fitz, right? I'm a little sis. Okay, you're a chick. Right on. Right on. Well, it's nice to meet you, Knifey Spoonie. And like I said, I don't remember what happened, but I don't even, I'm not even thinking about it. And I don't need to, unless you want to talk about it, I don't need to. I'm okay with, I'm okay with you. I like you. So we're good. Nice to meet you and very Merry Christmas to you. Well, Merry Christmas to you, Knifey Spoonie. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers to all of you. A fresh start. There you go, Fitz. Yeah, Fitz, you have some pretty good wisdom sometimes. A fresh start is a good idea. I don't always want to listen to you, but you have a pretty good, you have some good advice sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get hammered. I'm drinking till I pee my diaper. <laughs> right on, ankle spanker. Sometimes too much eggnog. Right, Fitz, right? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I'm drinking until I pee my diaper. That's funny. Dave the Slave, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, Knifey Spoonie, I think you'll find. I don't know how many streams you follow, but I think you'll see that I have a very, very good community here. I have about 30 regulars that come in and talk. Um, they are my friends. They are my legit friends. I've never met any of them except one. I've met Shock the Puss in real life. He spent the night here one night. And he is my friend in real life, and everybody else is my friend in real life, too. I just haven't met them in real life. I have an amazing community here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Have I ever brewed any beer? Nope. Vipla, I've never brewed any beer. Just wine. I just ferment wine. Hey, man, all's well. Right on, Dave the Slave. Right on. You have a very impressive community. Well, thank you, Navy Spoonie. I think so, too. I think we are a bunch of, we are a bunch of different people. We think differently about a lot of things, but I think we come together on the fact that we want to treat each other like we want to be treated. I think we're a bunch of golden rule people, and that's what brings everybody here, I think. But thank you, Dave the Slave. Shock is a great guy. I, I can't speak for myself, but I think Shock is a great guy. Hey, Mini Speeder, thank you. I talked to Josh once. I just kept laughing because I was nervous. <laughs> Allegedly, Dave. Right, Shock? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Minnie Speeder. Merry Christmas, man. We all unite, right? Right? All right, let me look at my biscuits. I got two minutes until the beeper's going to go off. Let me chickity chickity check them out. I might need to spin them or something. Yeah, they're not going to be big golden brown. They're not going to be big golden brown, fluffy looking biscuits, but I think they're going to be edible. <laughs> Good God on the internet. We'll see in real life. <laughs> right, Fitz? Right. Show love to everyone. Right, Ronnie?
Am I in Florida? No, I'm in Knoxville, Tennessee. I am not Florida man. <laughs> no, I'm in Knoxville, Tennessee, Dave. <coughs> red lobster cheddar bay. No, they're not red lobster cheddar bay biscuits, but those are fucking delicious. I used to have a friend that made those. He had the real recipe. Some He got it from somewhere before they published it on the internet. He knew somebody that worked at Red Lobster or something, and he made them, and they were just like, they were delicious. Oh, nice. My pops is a place in Mountain City. Mountain City. I don't know where that is. Okay, near Bristol. Right on, right on. Yeah, East Tennessee is the best, man. I love East Tennessee. They sell the mix for them. Oh, do they feel? Right on, right on. Yeah, they uh, the, those really are good biscuits. But I'm making biscuits that I can put sausage and eggs on and eat with sweet with gravy and stuff. Those cheddar bays, I could do that too. They would be good. But all I have is American cheese. The most east northern part of Tennessee, right, 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 up near Gate City, Bristol, and shit. Right, right, right. What about that ham? That ham is gone, buddy. I ate that thing. I ate the last piece of it several days ago. Ooh, damn, they're hot. I'm gonna let them go for, I'm gonna turn the oven off. Timer, two minutes, start. I'm gonna turn the oven off. I'm ready for that other, t my tank of gas, I'm ready for it to empty out so I can put the new one in so I know how much I've got. I've got a regulator, but I don't have any pressure gauge, so I'm not sure how much is in that tank I've got. Give me a Waffle House sausage, egg, and cheese. I might think of marrying the bitch. <laughs> you know, I've never had anything like that from Waffle House. I've, I, eat the, I eat the cheese and eggs, raisin toast hash browns instead of grits and two orders of bacon that's what i usually get at waffle hall house yes yeah ronnie uh my boss gave me that ham the honey baked ham it was awesome waffle house brass brown are so good they are good i get mine uh scattered smothered and covered onions and cheese on them Onions and cheese. I don't like them all the way, but I never know what I'm eating there. It's usually at 3 a.m. <laughs> I love the I love the raisin toast. I like the cheese and eggs. And like I said, I usually don't get the grits. I'll get hash browns instead and then a double bacon. And I usually tip Waffle House employees pretty good. I will usually make sure I have change or get change, and I will tip the waitress, but I'll tip the cook too. Hey, hey, hey. And I'll throw a five on the counter right across from you know where he can get a five or something. Because the servers are usually will cut the fucking, usually will cut the cook in. They're supposed to in a, in a restaurant like that. The servers are supposed to cut the cook in, but I don't know if they always do it or not. So I'll make sure to tip the fucking cook. The Waffle House is smiling and covered and fucked. Minus the Mushrooms go straight home. My asshole hate me. <laughs> Those turned out okay. Some of them aren't as brown on top as the other ones are, but they'll they're cooked. They'll be just fine. I poked my finger in that one. <laughs> They'll be just fine. The bottom's got good and cooked. Let me get them off that hot plate or else they'll fucking get scorched on the bottom. Hey, the real outdoors. Hey, thank you, Knifey Spoonie. Thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs>
Got a big plate of biscuits. <laughs> Prostate. Hey, buddy. How you doing, Prostate? Thanks, Ronnie. They do look good. Wags. Hey, Wags. I got sick of playing games that were weird. Uh, oh, did you, Wags? <laughs> Smothered, covered, and fucked. <laughs> I haven't heard that. I got enough money to buy another pack of cigarettes now. Thank you, Fitz. I can buy more packs of cigarettes now and gas. I forgot Josh. I was on. Y'all had me playing goofy shit. Do what, Wags? I'll Venmo you to buy a cartoon. Do what, Thin Crust Cheese? Luke Skywalker. Merry Christmas, man. How you doing, Luke? It's good to see you. Glad you're here. Glad you showed up. Oh, Venmo me to buy a carton? You know, I don't have Venmo. I can download it, I guess. I don't know if I can set it up real quick. I don't know how long it takes to set up. <laughs> Dave's not here. Yeah, I guess I could get Venmo. I'm getting a new phone in a couple days, so I don't know if I'm going to fucking... You'd Venmo me too? Damn. Well, I don't have Venmo. I guess I can set it up, but I don't know how long it takes to set up. I was on another stream playing some game because Dave had me go look. Oh, really, Wags? <laughs> yeah, I can download Venmo, but I, I, well, I could do it, but I don't know if I can do it now because... Well, let me try it on this other phone. Do 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 I lean into you, yeah. PayPal owns it. Oh, I'm sure, Thin Crust. I didn't know that, but I believe that. Do you know which phone you're getting? Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting the same thing, just a new one, Ronnie. At S9 Plus. Just sign into your bank. Okay. Sitting here alone, too. Going to Mom's house Friday for dinner, though. Work schedule. Right, right, Fitz. I'll probably go to my mom and dad's tomorrow for an hour or two. I spent an hour there on Thanksgiving. I went to Mom and dad's for an hour. I gotta pee. I'll be right back, y'all. I gotta fucking pee and I can't hold it anymore. Thank Jesus, it doesn't hurt anymore. If you use gas, you can try to get closer to me. I'm in love. I'm in deep gas. to my knees believe in me uh, 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 I gotta know tonight uh, uh, that if you're alone tonight I uh, 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 can't stop this feeling I want the last hour of my life back <laughs> fuck you Dave
That's funny. All right, they're going to send me a unique code to verify my phone, and I can't do that. I don't get text messages, so I can't do it. Yeah, I can't get Venmo. No, I don't have an iPhone. My phone's fucked up and it won't receive SMS messages. That's why I'm getting a new phone. Something's wrong with my phone and Verizon can't fix it. I can't fix it. It won't get SMSs. They, I had my phone number changed last week, and ever since then, I've not been able to get SMS messages. So, I can't sign into Venmo. I can't sign into Twitch. I can't sign into Nets, Net, uh, Netscape. I can't sign into a bunch of shit. What the fuck did you just post, Fitz? <laughs> if I didn't know you, I'd ban your ass so fast. <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing. It's just a big, long s string of shit. <laughs> and I'm kidding. I would not ban you. I'm teasing. <laughs> You're a mod, so you can post, you can post links like that. I wouldn't trust anybody with a mod if I didn't trust them to post, be able to post a link that wasn't a sketchy ass scam or something. Egg has been making me special guests this year. I'm going to eat some four fucking. <laughs> I'm going to click on that and see if it lets me see it. Oh, dude! Is that you in that picture, man? Yeah, Fitz. Yeah, Fitz. I, I believe you, man. I believe you. Like I said, mods can post links. And uh, if I didn't trust somebody with a mod, I mean, everybody that I've given a mod, the power to be a mod, I trust them with links. So I don't care about, you can post that shit all you want to, brother. Are, is that you in there? Are you in that picture? That's the first time I've ever seen you, man. You're on the right. I figured that was you. Uh, you're right on, man. That's a cool picture, dude. And I was just trying to be funny when I said I'd ban your ass thing. I would not. I will not ban you, man. I can't say that I haven't, but I was mentally disturbed when I did that before. <laughs> and I think that you've forgiven me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you've forgiven me. <coughs> I wish that Venmo would let me do it by a... Uh, enter a different number. I don't have a different phone number to enter. <coughs> Excuse me. I generally puke. I wish they'd let me do it by email or something. 
But I just have to wait till I get my new phone. Look, the guy's my best friend. It was a good time last night with too many shots. That's your best friend. Right on, right on. Yeah, I like shots. What were y'all drinking? What's in the picture? Looks like brown liquor. Sorry, I know. Uh, it's been hey, Ronnie, that's fine, buddy. I know people have a life outside of this stream. That is quite all right, man. Fireball. You're really drinking Fireball? <laughs> I, I drink Fireball too, man. I like, I like cinnamon schnapps. It's not something you can drink a whole glass of, but I like a shot or two of it. I used to buy a gold slogger when I was feeling fancy, but Fireball's good enough. Let me go back to see if I can play some music. Let me see if I can. I was drinking mules and rounds and rounds of fireball. Shut up. <laughs> right? <laughs> what the fuck's a mule? What's a mule, Fitz? Damn, my elbow hurts so bad. Fuck if I not just tasted good right on. Right on. I tell you what, when I was like 19 and I was hanging out at the tattoo shop where I got a lot of tattoos, a guy that hung out down there, he got me hooked on whiskey sours. And I drank whiskey sours for a couple months. Every day I got off work, I'd go to the tattoo shop and drink whiskey sours. Ooh, I hope I never see another one. And uh, I got on, I got on gin and tonic like that one time for a month or two. I drank gin and tonic all the time. Ugh. I don't care if I ever see another one now. Connect to the internet. I'm not connected to the internet? Yeah, I am. Don't want to wait till you know me better. Alex Joint Thunder. Hello, Alex Joint Thunder. Nice to meet you, man. Drink whiskey sours in Germany. Did you really, Fitz? Nice to meet you, Alex. From the Ukraine. Let's see if I can make my let's see if I can make my shot from the first try. It ain't no crime to be good to yourself. Pick it up. Whoa. It's all right now. Oh, almost. Oh, damn it. Almost again. Almost again. Not even close. Damn it. Ah, I got a cock on. My vacation. Oh, fuck you, game. Ah, I did it again. <laughs> That's just barely hooked on there. <laughs> It ain't no crime to be good to yourself. Lifey Spoonie, have you ever seen this before? What? Uh, that's more impressive than getting fully on. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yeah.
Kaksaka. Damn it. I'm horrible today. Ah, oh, there I got it. Finally. We're gonna live like your own vacation. Lick it up, lick it up. Whoa, uh, uh, it's all right now. <laughs> the Matrix, right, Fitz? The Matrix glitch, right? <laughs> Woo! Lick it up. Lick it up. Whoa. Oh, oh. It's all right now. Lick it up. Lick it up. <laughs> you like my hat, Dave? <laughs> Abby! Hey, Abby! <laughs> oh, really, Knifey Spoonie? That's your name, too? Got two girls in here named Abby. Now you all need to strip down to your underwear and get in a pillow fight. Right now. <laughs> Please. <laughs> get the ring ready, right? Get the pool full of pork and beans ready. <laughs> or jello. Get the jello pool ready. <laughs> <laughs> Abby versus Abby. Woo! <laughs> I'd probably just eat the job. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> That'd be okay too. <laughs> Dave, if I had two girls named anything <laughs> i'd stream it hell i had one give me gonorrhea and i streamed her you know i'd stream two girls fighting in a jello pool man <laughs> Holy Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad y'all laughing at that. <laughs> I'm laughing. Y'all should be laughing. <laughs> I got one leg that's kind of a limp. I got a I got a flaccid leg. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm actually crying. <laughs> Dave is dead. <laughs> You're used to it. <laughs> hey, that hurts. <laughs> like pissing razor blades hurts. <laughs> The last one you streamed, I like she didn't want any part of the stream. As she was fucked up. She wasn't fucked up, fucked up, but she was high. 
that she had gonorrhea. <laughs> <laughs> hey Dave, thanks for hosting me, brother. Thank you, man. Yeah, I'm not really sure exactly what that girl was doing. She wasn't out of her mind, fucked up. <laughs> 